Hey guys, and thanks for tuning back in, Bad Boy Gaming. I am Joey Moss, and we're just going to jump right into this deck tech. So, I wanted to put together some budget stuff, uh, especially with the black-blue. I really like this color combo. No, I really don't. Um, but we're going to run it because it is one of the better uh, in Ravnica. So, for budget, and everything in this deck will probably run you under 15 bucks. I'm guessing, maybe 20 uh, uh, excluding the sideboard. The sideboard really isn't too much anyway. It's maybe a few more bucks. Uh, but let's just jump into it. So Thoughtbound Phantasm, great card, which is performing at a rate that I expected it to. Uh, it's a one-drop defender. Whenever you surveil, put a plus one, plus one counter on Thoughtbound Phantasm. As long as Thoughtbound Phantasm has three or more plus one, plus one counters on it, it basically loses defender and it can attack. So pretty neat card. We're running four of those. It's a one-drop. Then up uh, then up next, we got the Fairy Rogue, uh, Night Veil Sprite. Flying, whenever Night Veil Sprite attacks, we're going to surveil one. Pretty, pretty cool card. It is isn't. It is flying, so it could be a little more difficult to deal with, and uh, we're hoping to get that little surveil off in the sky for one damage. Whispering Snitch, probably my one of my, if not my favorite artworks from this entire uh, uh, set of Guilds of Ravnica. That aside, Whispering Snitch is a two-drop. Whenever we surveil for the first time each turn, Whispering Snitch deals one damage each opponent, and we gain one life. Really, really neat little card just to sneak in one little damage, and it, it's a three defense, so not too bad. We're going to run two copies of that, um, three on the uh, on the sprite, by the way. Uh, the old Spy Bug, really cool card. Probably one of the best we've seen uh, in black, blue. Probably the best card, one of the best cards uh, printed in Ravnica. It's got Flying and Menace for only a two-drop. Whenever we surveil, put a plus one, plus one counter on Spy Bug. That is pretty, pretty amazing. This card can get ridiculous out of hand really quick. Um, we're not running crazy heavy amounts of uh, the um, surveil ability, but enough that we're going to be able to trigger that off a bit. Uh, but I have seen other surveil decks that just go to crap because they have just too much surveil in the deck. So we really didn't want to go too nutty on that and just rely on one or two cards to work. That's, I think, a mistake I see a lot of people making. Uh, House Guild Mage, it is a two-drop. Only included one of these. I just had to throw it in here. But in case, you know, we need a mana sink, this is not a bad choice to go with. It's a, for two, target creature doesn't untap during controllers and tap step. And then for three, we tap it, surveil for two. It works out pretty good, uh, especially with that surveil. Pump up some creatures. Unexplained Disappearance. For deuce, return target creature to its owner's hand, surveil for one. Only going to run one copy of this. That's it. Um, but just because it's a little bit of control, we are running blue-black. Why not? Uh, thought Erasure. We are going to run a total of three copies of this bad boy. This one's really nifty. Uh, target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from it. That player discards that card. And we can surveil for one. Didn't get too crazy and put four. I think three will do just enough. We're really utilizing it for the surveil and getting rid of something our opponent has. That could be a threat. Sinister Sabotage, 3-drop, a little bit of control. We are running the black-blue, come on now. Um, and we, it also lets us surveil when we do counter something. Pretty neat. Four copies of that. Two copies of our Mephitic Vapors. Uh, all creatures get minus one, minus one until end of turn. This is something you can end surveil for two. This is something you can put in the sideboard. I just chose to keep it in the main. Um, so far, it's come in handy in each and every matchup, so we'll see what happens. Uh, Ravenous Chupacabra, it is a 4-drop, that's right. Beast Horf, the sucker ain't going nowhere. Probably one of the staples right now in standard. If you're running black, you're probably running a Chupacabra. Whenever it enters the battlefoil, battlefoiled. Whenever it enters the battlefield, we're going to destroy a creature. Really neat card. We're running two copies of that. Etrata the Silencer, really cool card. Only going to run one of these, though. It is a 4-drop. Uh, 3, 5, and it can't be blocked, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, but when it does deal combat damage to a player, exile target creature that player controls and put a hit counter on that card. That player loses the game if they own uh, three or more exiled cards with hit counters on them. Atrada's owner shuffles Atrada into their library. Yeah, that can be kind of a little bummer. It does go away, and we're only running one copy of it, but just the fact that it hits in the air, unblockable for three, it's going to be hard to remove with five defense. I mean, that's three damage I'm willing to include in the deck. Hostage Taker, it is a four drop. Uh, when Hostage Taker enters the battlefield, exile another target creature, artifact, uh, or artifact until Hostage Taker leaves the battlefield, and we can cast that card uh, as well. Pretty neat. Um, that does come in handy. I'm sure we'll be able to utilize that in one of these matches here. I hope we showcase that. Uh, just one copy of that, one copy of Trotta. Night Veil Predator, you knew I'd include this. I told you this is one card I'm really hyped about. Uh, Night Veil Predator, it's a four drop. It can be difficult to cast at times. That aside, Flying, Death Touch, Hexproof, 3-3, three, three, Vampire. Really, really difficult to deal with and can take out some big threats. Price of Fame. 
four dropper can't be a two if we're taking out a legendary creature destroy target creature and then surveil for two pretty cool running a play set of those four 12 lands uh 12 islands 12 swamps and then over here on the sideboard we got four cast downs in case they're really creature heavy but i think we already have a decent amount of removal it should work pretty well uh, another removal walk the plank uh an additional two chupacabras as you see in case they get really crazy you know with some stuff uh we want to make sure we take it all out ritual of soot uh destroy all creatures to convert a mana cost three or less why the heck not uh throw that up in there uh and tetsamak primal death just because it's one really nasty inclusion into any kind of deck all right that is the entire deck um let's see how the gameplay runs and uh yeah definitely hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already it does mean a lot guys all right here we go surveil on a budget let's see what we got <clears throat> thanks for tuning in guys mm. i mean this doesn't look bad although we don't really have anything that we can really surveil with but with as many surveil cards as we do have i'm assuming we're going to get to that But I like that we're on, kind of on curve. One drop, two drop, maybe a three. It's real. Alright, going up against some of this mumbo jumbo. Gamer. Flying in menace is pretty dirty. His, it's in his interest to take out my spy bug immediately, so he's probably going to do that right now. I'm just not going to block that. Well, he can pump it, though. No block. And I'm assuming he might shock my spy bug or phantasm after. Oh, no, clever play. So there's quite a lot of budget decks out there. There's the shock. I was waiting for it. Mm. Not exactly what we had in mind here. And we haven't gotten to any of our more impressive cards. I'm definitely not blocking that. Mentor is looking good. Mm. Probably gonna hostage take that. I don't need a 2 3 out there. Taker is quite easy to remove. I mean, for a two drop, he can take it out if he has like a lightning strike. Yeah, I'm not blocking that. And then he's gonna pump it. It's fine. Nice, I did want to see that. Whoops. That night veil's a big deal though. Because he can't do nothing to it, and it's got flying death touch and hex proof. Only well, had first strike, could you imagine? But now I can just block with uh, the lava runner here. Bring the pain, baby. This card's sick. Flying death touch, hex proof, come on. He's really thinking, what's he gonna do? Ooh, hello, gorgeous. We didn't get a whole lot of things um, that surveilled this round. And that's okay. The deck has a lot of other things going on for it. Two attacks. It's gonna have to take it. That's 
spy bug, though. Will he destroy the spy bug? Next. Alright, level 9. Here we go. Always open to suggestions. Yeah, I'm fine to lose this. That's, that's cool. Nice trade. He's got to pump it up or give it first strike. There's got to be something like that. There's that. And then he can pump it. No, no, maybe not. A little too late for that. Alright, that's about game. Why not just attack with everything? Get that surveil, it'll pump up. I like you. <laughs> really cool card. There we go. And now for combat damage. It's quite a bit. Eight damage, he'll be at three. And we still got uh, Extrata back here. Extrata. Time out used because we're so cool. Aww. He's down to five. I don't think he can deal lethal, but just in case he can, um, we gotta block with that. He does have five untapped mana. Or untapped lands. Got him. All right, so not bad with our first run. Let's see what another one does. Baby frogs. Um, I do like this. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're gonna keep this. It's not the best, but we can sort of work our way into something. We're not entirely utilizing uh, Thoughtbound Phantasm as best as we could because we don't have a crazy amount of that hurts. At least he wasted it. Um, a crazy amount of uh, surveil cards. But we do have enough. I think we're going to drop this first. Because we got to buy some time anyway. And I'd rather have him kill the Whispering Snitch over the, the Spy Bug. I like that Atrata's on deck. Couple heavy hitters. You gotta have something big in, in any deck you run. Something that really just rocks your opponent. Might as well drop a spy bug now. We're gonna attack. One damage, not bad. We'll take it. One's better than nada. Oh, uh, he's definitely running Boros heavy. It's gonna get ugly. Okay. Hmm. Do I wait? Do we price of fame this right now? I think we probably should. I think we're gonna. Yeah, why not? I don't want him getting any kind of card draw advantage on us. We really don't need any of that, so we can just dump these bolts into the graveyard. Nice. Swing away. Down to 15. Almost feel like I should have dropped the try to last turn, but I'm glad, I'm glad we did not. <laughs> How about that? Alright, we'll drop this guy. The Atrata stands the stands of time. Stands the stands of time. Oh. Ooh, clever girl. He's coming heavy now with a whole bunch of tricks. Nice, price of fame. So technically, well, we're not going to take out our own. I guess we're going to spy bug. And then we shall swing. Frenzy's a pretty cool card. You 
know what else is cool? My Joe Cool skateboard. I had it when I was like 10. I thought it was neat to like kick it into the curb. I thought it was like a trick. Man, I was way off. Any skaters watching? I used to bore a little bit. What are you doing, bro? You gonna concede? All right, damage it. Down to 10, we'll do that. We'll see ya. Oh. It went bye byes of only for a while. Ooh. All right. That could be tough. Price of fame is going to help a little bit. Uh, no block. Cool. We'll see ya. So Surveil's going to trigger everything on board, which is pretty nice. Ooh. Mm, we really don't need that right now. I don't think we do. No. That hostage taker's looking pretty sexy, though. We're going to keep that. Pumping up a little bit. Got to swing in. So he's down to seven. Not bad. If only we could surveil again. I forgot these bad boys are 1-1 one, one right now. Could have board wiped them, but it's really not mattering too much. It's not like they have lifelink or anything. He's got four cards in hand and a crap ton of mana. Come on, man. What are you going to do? At least we have flying on, on advantage. That's a plus. Ooh, that hurt. That really hurt. All right, so we're going to hostage take him. Swing. Got him. He conceded. Not bad. Not bad. As you see, the deck holds up pretty well, and it's just, it's really, really cheap budget. Um, I can't say we've had too much crazy competition out there, but for budget, fun, MTG arena game, uh, this is an ideal deck for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and as always, PLA.